Hey guys, Ashley here. Today I want to show you how I'm going to create a divider for my classic Happy Planner journal. This is the one that Stephanie released along with her Plan a Happy Life launch. She has a book. It is called Plan a Happy Life. Um, you can get the book on the Happy Planner website. There's a special edition copy at Michael's. Um, you can get them anywhere books are sold. The book club is going to start September the 6th. And a part of that launch, she had this journal come out. And I really love this journal. It's like a daily journal that's got a couple of prompts. Let me show you. So you just put the date. It says reflection, gratitude, and then down here it starts all over again. So you get two prompts per day, which is awesome. And I love that it's not dated. So if you miss a day or whatever, it's no big deal. You're not wasting pages. So that's really awesome. And I'm going to use this journal. I actually started using it already, but I'm going to use this every day. But I also want to have a section inside of here in the front for the book club. So I can keep my notes from the book club all in one place. Everything's all here together. And that's what we're going to do today. So on the Happy Planners website, they have some downloads that you can get. And these are the two that I chose and we're going to cut these down so they will fit inside of a classic. And I will show you guys how I make a divider. First, let me show you guys how I print these out. Now, when I print these or when I cut these, I should say, it is going to cut some of it off of there. But I have found that this is the easiest way. I mean, you guys can see where this is at and where this is at. And I'll show you that once I actually cut it. But I found this is the easiest way to print it. This is simple. It's easy. So let me go ahead and show you guys how I printed these pages. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is start on the Happy Planners website. And if you click um, right here, the Plan a Happy Life, just click Shop Now. And then if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, there are free downloads that you guys can download. I chose this one and this one, but there's more. You guys can choose whichever ones that you want. And so just download those and you guys know how to download stuff. So just download, I'm not going to download them again, but just download those. And then from there, what I do is I go to Canva and we're going to hit create a design. We're going to hit custom dimensions. You want to make sure you change the inches to or it'll be pixels originally, but you want to change it to inches and it's going to be seven by nine. So the width is seven, the height is nine, and this is for a classic size. And then you're going to hit create a new design, but I've already created it. So what I'm going to show you guys, actually, let's just do it. Let's just completely walk through it. So create a new design. And then from here, I'm going to click add new page because I need a front and back. So we need two pages. We're going to go to elements over here on the left side. Scroll down to grids, and for both of these, we're just going to put a photo grid on. And then from there, go to uploads, and this is where you'll upload the photos that you have that you downloaded from the Happy Planners website. And if you just click on them and pop them right on there, it'll line them up right in the center. And there we go. And then from there, you're going to download those. And so you just hit download. I've already done that, so I'm not going to do it again. But those will be downloaded. See, there's my original one that I did. Now, once you have those downloaded, you are going to go to the images. Oh, let me just pull it up. I'm going to hit Command P. Well, maybe once it comes up. There it is. Okay, Command P. That's on a Mac to pull up the print screen. Now, in order to print this, I um, click off of two sided. We're going to change it from a US letter to A4. And then down here at the bottom, you want to make sure the scale is at 50. Now, I, when I cut this to fit the divider, some of this will be cut off. There's other ways to do it, but it's really complicated. And to me, this seems to be the easiest way to go about it. So like the top up here will be cut off a little bit and the bottom where it says the happy planner is going to be cut off, but that's okay. I'm not really worried about that for the divider. And you guys will see that once I flip back and show you the process of actually creating the divider. So we're going to hit, make sure it's on scale to fit entire image you want to make sure this says 50% sometimes for some reason mine pulls up um, and it makes it 35% which if you do that it doesn't like look how tiny that is that's not gonna work but if you go to like 60% you're gonna cut off a lot of it if you even go to 55 it's still I mean that's okay that's fine but once you actually cut this down to fit the divider you're gonna lose some of this probably so you want to leave it at 50% print the entire image and then just print it from there. Now what we're going to do is I'm actually going to take this divider out of here 
and we are gonna line it up on the back of these ones and then I'm gonna cut these down. And I have a paper trimmer here. We're gonna use it and you don't have to have a paper trimmer. You guys can do this um, with a pair of scissors would work just fine. I'm trying to fill where this is at. That way I can kind of see. Okay, that feels about right. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna straighten this up, take a pencil, and that way we can mark it. And then we will cut it. So there we go. That's what it looks like after it's cut. It did cut off the part where it says um, the happy planner down at the bottom, but I'm not super duper worried about that. And it looks like it's not 100% straight, but that's okay. We're not going to stress about it. And then this one, I think I like where it says the happy planner at the bottom of this one. So I think I'm just going to line this one up and we'll cut it that way. So we'll put it about just about in the center of the page here is what it looks like. And then we'll cut this one. So there's both of those cut down. So I actually printed this out on 32 weight paper. You guys might see my head for this. I've got to get down here close so I can make sure I get them lined up. <laughs> I didn't get them lined up straight. So we're just gonna take scissors and kind of fix that. Because if I pull these off now, it's just gonna be a mess. not end up being the cutest divider in the world but it's gonna work it might not be the straightest divider in the world either but that's okay There we go okay so there's that and then now what we're gonna do is punch it
And then I want to make a, yeah, that's really not straight, but that's okay. I want to make a tab for it right over here on the side. And I think I want to use, let me clean my space up here a little bit. I think I want to use this sticker, which is from the Live Creatively sticker book that come out along with everything else for Stephanie's launch. And what I'm going to do I'm thinking about not the whole sticker I am going to cut it but I just want to look here for just a minute yes I think that'll be cute so I'm going to cut it right before the blue starts and my scissors are getting super duper sticky so they need to be cleaned And I think I'm going to put it like here and then flip the back side over. Now I'm not flipping it over top of this. If you guys can see, I'm going to keep it down. That away, the tab's a little bit longer. And then we'll stick it to itself. There we go. That's not straight either. We are having things going crooked everywhere. Okay, let me fix that because that is going to drive me bananas. I'll just pull this side down a little bit more. <laughs> that's a little bit straighter, not much, but that's okay. And then I'm going to take... my micron we're gonna say plan a happy life on it there we go and then we're gonna stick this in the journal first we're gonna stick this divider back in And then we'll put this one right up front. Hey, that didn't turn out too bad for my first divider. I'm okay with it. I think it looks cute. And then what I'm going to do from here is just get some planner paper, some insert paper, and I'll put it in between these two as I go. It kind of depends. I might use dot grid. I might use lined. It just, it really just kind of depends on how the, um, how the book club goes and what I want to do. If I want to draw something, if I want to use stickers, if I want to just write things out. So I'm just going to leave it the way it is for now. And then as it goes, I will add paper in it. You know, I think for my first divider, it actually turned out really cute. Like I'm super duper proud of it. Let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments section. Um, there will be a link down below in the description box where you guys can sign up for Stephanie's book club. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, come hang out with me on Instagram, and I will see you guys in the next video.